Hello everyone, my name is Sam. And my name is Costa. This is Copycat Game Devlog. Today we wanted to talk to you about our approach to camera perspectives in our game and how using different camera techniques can help you elevate storytelling in your own project. If you haven't already, find Copycat on Steam, add us to your wish list. that would be perfect. Now today we have five different camera techniques to chat through including human point of view, cat point of view, third person camera, platformer and also the camera distance. So the first point of view you see in our game is the human point of view. In the very beginning of the game, in the opening scene, we start as the human walking through this cat shelter, walking through the dark corridor through a few rooms and we end up in the room with uh, cat cages where we see six different cats to choose from because at this point we haven't introduced the cat character yet it's ultimately human's choice about the cat color so we wanted to give this choice to the player through the human eye perspective this view may also come back in the game later if we want players to look at certain scenes through the perspective of the human and apply human context to things. Great, the second camera perspective we use is the cat point of view. As the player, we're led down a new hallway in this swaying box and placed into a strange new living room. Although you can control the head moves, the setup makes you feel powerless, vulnerable and restricted. Due to the size of the box and the bars trapping you inside, the hierarchy is quickly established and you realise you're on the bottom. And when all of your owner goes to get you out of the box, you're terrified as her large hands claw inside. But it's not all scary, because when you're finally free and left to your own devices to travel around, it's thrilling, intimate and very rewarding. The POV shot quickly puts you inside the shoes of Dawn and reminds you how small you are in this big but exciting new world. Next one is the third person view and this is the main camera view in our game because it's the most familiar and comfortable view to most players. We chose it because third person view encourages exploration, it helps you look around, it helps you find things and shows you how big and exciting the world is around you. It also works as a perfect reminder of how unusual our protagonist is. Because we are playing as a cat, this camera angle always reminds us about the rules that apply to the world and the limitations you have as a cat. Whereas this camera view helps you explore during daytime, at night time when you are alone on the street, being able to look around and see nothing only reinforces the feeling of emptiness and being lost. The fourth camera perspective we have is the platformer, also known as the locked off camera side scroller. In this perspective we see Dawn wander along the fence tops. It's playful with exploration at the heart. Because of the locked off camera you feel stable, secure. You're high up and feel above the danger but also you instinctively know where to go. As the player, you feel empowered as you traverse the back streets. It was also very important to position this level during a moment in the game where Dawn felt a sense of confidence in her abilities. As she jumps over gaps in the fence, she and the player feels equally responsible for the transition from house cat to stray. And last but not least, we wanted to talk about the distance between camera and the player because not all cameras were created equal and the distance matters and helps us tell the story even better. For example, when we start, the distance between the cat and the camera is medium, which is very comfortable and familiar to players, so people are encouraged to explore and feel good about it. When we go closer to the cat, it can either create a very intimate moment or create this claustrophobic feeling if we had to hide from something or we stuck in a very tight space. On the other side, increasing the distance between camera and the cat can make player feel very small and insignificant. And this is a perfect technique to reinforce this feeling of being lost and being lonely in the dark world at night. Well, that wraps things up. Thanks for watching, guys. These were our five camera techniques that we're currently trialing in our game Copycat. To extend your knowledge, check out our favourite cinematography videos down below to see how you can apply film techniques to your own project. 
And don't forget to stop by the comments section and tell us about projects you are working on. We are very keen to hear about them. Thank you for watching. Bye!